Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to another recording of Day X Human Revolution Director's Cut. We just set off an alarm through the story. We couldn't even have avoided it, as far as I can tell, so I guess that wouldn't count towards the quest. Let's get into it. Corporate war warfare are where we are. So, like, she set off an alarm right here. So how would you even at all been able to... That, that really makes no sense. We have guys who are alarmed and in theory there must be a way to sneak around here. Uh, so, yeah, I'm so At five. So, I don't know how you sneak out of this section. I don't know how you do anything here. There's all kinds of guys way down there. And it's not like there's a Path. Well, maybe there is a path. That is a path. So we'll stay down here and we'll try this. Okay. I can just see some feet here. Seems like... Perhaps I can just... I guess maybe if you could go invisible, you could sneak through all this. We've got all kinds of guys here. And these guys are big time... It's not a situation where... Like, you see that these heavy machine gun guys here I don't see a real reason to try and take these guys out so many vision cones Interesting. You see anything? So like so much experience. I could do like a double takedown on those two guys and then try and take down some several other people. So technically I guess I didn't get spotted there, but the alarm is going off, so how do you get that achievement without with where you don't set off any alarms. We clearly hear the alarms going off. Jensen, I'm coming to pick you up. You anywhere near their hangar bay? I'm heading there now. Great. Get those bay doors open or this rescue attempt ain't gonna happen. We got a new Praxis point. Do we have anything we really want to hack just right now? Could we even really hack anything right now? Like... A fortify upgrade, hacking analysis upgrade, or we could do more mark and tracks. Uh, 
which I don't think the marking tracks help. Cool down time. Interesting. Is that really what we want to get? Instead of perhaps the typhoon system or uh, abilities to sprint or go invisible. I think going invisible is more important than the typhoon system. So that was ghost and smooth operator. That's the uh, two things you would want to reach and accomplish every time you are at every level which means honestly to get those two achievements and the reason why only two percent of people have gotten them is that you have to make a save before every level and then go back and if you don't get that achievement go back to that save and start again electronic system loss this is I think the first time we've seen the fronts of books uh, so we are here and I don't think we're going back there and I might not be going down there I think we're gonna go into a boss fight or we're doing something like a boss fight So we've got these major security bots here that are just crawling around. And then security cameras. Something saw something. Why are these alarms annoying? Hangar doors locked. I guess I could try and crawl down more that way. Doesn't seem like there's anybody else around. And then these security bots seem to be pretty much just stuck here. Why is everybody just staring over there? Hangar doors locked. Incorrect. Did it crash? Please disable security bots prior to opening doors. Nope. I think it kinda crashed. Just locked up their system of the AI the AI of the bots. Number one and number two over here. So I'm trying to get into the number one and number two security sections. Then I could potentially hack the hack the security hubs, which I hope are in there. I see something over there. So I need to get like way up. I think I need to get way up here. 
and I don't see a real way to get up here. It's not a situation where I can just climb onto the edge. got so many things that we can build on. Let's do a little saves coming. There's no like doorway up here. Okay. So let's take a moment just to run around. Get an idea since we've s totally screwed this up. So there's a platform over here. Hangar doors locked. Incorrect security sequence. Please disable security box prior to opening doors. Hangar doors locked. Incorrect security sequence. And they're definitely leaving a heavy rifle here if you just have to take it. Rockets? What's the rocket launcher? I'm not sure I really like this whole concept of going within a right angle around something by holding A. Well, I've really started to think, why do these guys just stop and look? That's the real question. Is, I've played Dishonored, and I've probably played several other games that are very similar in this mentality, in this style of game. This was obviously a complete style of game that lots of people did, lots of game makers used. But I'm not sure it still plays, and I'm not sure if maybe Dishonored did it a little bit better. Like here's a door that's not even locked, and I can't help but think that that might be because of uh, me playing on easy. Or it might be because of something else. Let's look at our inventory. I'm not gonna throw away an EMP grenade for nothing. At the very least, I'll drop that. Computer is not. Madam Zhao's itinerary there and a dartboard that's too large. Uh, we don't know who Madam Zhao is at all. Uh, there's not been an explanation on that. So we call up here. And you can pretty much just do this and you won't get seen. You don't really have to wait for them to not be looking. At least 
that's my experience I'm having with it right now. An e-book, one of the unique e-books. Way too yellow on this screen. Uh, the walking around on those things is definitely giving me trouble. So, hack. Level 2 security rating, obviously, because this is part of the actual game and anything that actually is a f probably going to be required by the game is going to be at most a 3. <sighs> Stupid alarm, quit. What did I do that? Give me that. Give me that. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that one too. How about that? Give me that one. Still got plenty of time. Access granted. Okay. So we can deactivate these two cameras. And now that we finally have the ability, we can set these guys on our enemies. Which is pretty nice. Hmm. Okay, so I have to disable them. I can't even... I can't even do it. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. Hmm. So the hangar doors are unlocked. Where am I supposed to go? I guess Security I'm supposed to go disabled. to the other section. So yeah, you could have tried to climb up here. It's not realistic, though. And uh, there's no real reason to run around, is there? Let's do it anyways. Because we never know. You just never know. There might have been a Praxis kit somewhere here. Hidden amongst all these things. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. Here's your rocket launcher. With some rockets. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors Honestly, disabled. why don't I have a rocket launcher? Let's think about this for a second. Let's drop this and then we'll just drop this and then Go ahead and drop that too. Give me that rocket launcher. Gotta drop some more stuff. Just drop this too. Hangar doors unlocked. Give me that. Give me that. Now, can I combine this with this? And can I combine this? I think that should be done too because I think this revolver I've already put something on and I am going to start upgrading it too. It's, it's really strange. I'm really going down this weird path. Alright, what else? What else can we do? Let's drop this. And take the slam sniper rifle. Hangar doors unlocked. So yeah, there's not a lot you can do here. Crossbow arrows, we'll take those for now. Those guys are just looking at me. Security Bell tower. Guys. Doors 
Seems like there's nothing really here. Hidden. Just the cube I could have moved. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. So why am I keeping the rocket thing? Well, I'm thinking that maybe we get rid of the shotgun or we compare it to the shotgun. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. Rockets. I can't even pick up rockets. Is any of this ammo combinable? We'll drop that and take one rocket. Security measures disabled. Hangar mm. doors unlocked. Is it really worth it to have rockets? To do just uh, do the Resident yeah, Evil 4 type thing. We Hangar you have one rocket launcher. It fills up your inventory, and but it's totally worth it to have. Hmm. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors un. Let's see. Can we eat something that that would make it worthwhile to? Pick that up. No. So we got an energy bar. We, what we could do is we could go ahead and drop this, pick this up, then immediately use this and pick this up. Security measures disabled. Hangar doors unlocked. 10 millimeter pistol and machine pistol. I just don't see how you would... Almost missed a rocket there. I just don't see how you would carry all the guns. You, you can't. You, you're going to pick one handgun and maybe a ridiculously powerful thing. This has the damage output rate of fire that's... Uh, s the same as the double barreled shotgun, I believe, unless that number's a little bit lower. Except for the reload speed is faster on the double barreled shotgun, which I didn't realize I could still upgrade that. And rate of fire, I think, is the same. So the reload speed, a lot slower on the rocket launcher, and on top of that, the rocket launcher takes way more space than the double-barreled shotgun. So I don't think the sniper rifle, or the tranquilizer gun, or maybe anything more than just the revolver is really necessary. Security measures mm. disabled. Well, the button is here. I, so, smooth operator, I got ghost, I didn't. Might hear the hack these guys and set them to enemies. Because it doesn't feel like there's really going to be a fight. Really? No fight. Nothing. I would have died right there. Fortunately, the Acre system doesn't use any of your energy bars. That would be really irritating. Let's get in here and let's get out of this area. And uh, I think I can say with pretty confidence that 
this means we're not going here or we were already there uh, like there's an elevator I don't see it there's an elevator over here but I don't think I could have gone in in it hmm. really did we miss a whole bunch of sections This is the elevator we got in. Push the button, where does that take us? Hmm. It's kind of funny we could come back up here with the rocket launcher now and take these guys out. If we so felt like it. Yeah. That's something you don't want to do. <laughs> uh, so, not seeing like there's going to actually be an above city city in China. And that's irritating. Definitely irritating because you would want something, something like that. It says there's an elevator right here if there's an elevator right here it's certainly not something we can ride that was probably something we were on they probably just overlaid some maps well we are on that level so when we go up these stairs we're technically on the second level interesting and you can't get in that elevator so that must have been some other part of the map so we're not going to do an above city, and when I don't think going to do any more of uh, of China at all. If there was side quests that we haven't gotten or messed up and, and totally missed, I don't think we're going to get an opportunity to go back. Well, let's Jensen, continue. Jensen, time to hightail it back to Detroit. Get in. Yep. We're not going to Detroit. What? We're going to Montreal. I'll explain on route. Damn right you will. So we're going to Montreal for what? Apparently, I think we're going to Picus, which is in Montreal. <laughs> but since we really haven't been paying enough attention to the story, and the story hasn't been making it blatantly apparent, or a little confused, I'm a confused at least. It probably was in the dialogue or the reading are you sure about this i mean it's not some tiny cable station you're infiltrating zhao mentioned an eliza and a phone call to picus put them together it has to mean eliza kassan is in on this you don't think that's a bit of a leap the world's most famous news anchor working with a mercenary hit squad we can argue the fine points later. Set me down on the tower. I'll get in from the roof. Jensen, it's Pritchard. Malik tells me you want Eliza Kassan's location. If it's not too much trouble. It's not. I bypassed the firewall easily, and I've pulled up a 3D model of their floor plan. Her office is in the tower, room 404. Oh my There's way. a joke. Room 404 is an internet error. Uh, file not found. So, yeah, we're in another mission level. The top of the China was a mission level, and we're just in another mission level here. And no real walking around or accomplishing anything. Eight? floors now for the technological marvel that that is that is kind of cool that we're gonna put somebody in a big tower you usually don't have games that work their way up and down floors like this uh, but as we look here there's not hugely large amounts of space being taken up 
that's kind of the point of towers is that they don't take up a lot of space. Look at all this transmission stuff. Uh, it seems like Pike is, is the only news station. And then we get a nice little skybox here of Montreal. It looks so fake though. Because it is. It's just a rendered image. It's just one big ball that whichever direction you look you see it. Montreal here is uh, really really con full of stuff. I don't know what Montreal really looks like so maybe it really does look like this but I imagine the implication is that in the future everybody is going to just ha be full of people and buildings and such and it would have been really nice if we had yet another little city to walk around and deal in but instead we're just in another mission which is what most of this game is uh, the open world concept gets totally thrown out uh, av after Detroit uh, not completely but almost completely thrown out the window and it just becomes mission after mission and that's something that was also true in a lot of the other games I've played that are like this the, this hunt and this hide and seek type gameplay and I think you could best say that that's inherently the flaw with these types of games is you just can't make a big open world type game uh, just the vision cones of the bad guys destroys the idea of open world because if the bad guy can walk in any direction he can obviously always potentially see you and they could never constrain that kind of world into a good gameplay so instead you always end up with hallways corridors small rooms where they can only see one direction of the room either north south east west and that's very much what we've been seeing Anywho, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.